Hi everyone, I'm Jasim Vinal at the 15th Annual High School Art Show Awards Ceremony. Just last month, we saw some amazing artwork from our elementary school students. At the High School Art Show, you can see just how much young student artists have progressed over the years. This high school artwork featured many different forms of media, from where they started with pencils, pastels, and chalk, to now acrylic, painting, and photography. So join us for highlights from the ceremony and as we talk to some of the artists about their work. Let's go! Now, I'm a proud Sunny Hills Lancer, and I'm a proud Lancer to see another Sunny Hills student being honored tonight. So, Jamie, how does it feel to have your art on display here? Actually, I'm really happy. I wasn't really expecting to even place at all. I just kind of wanted extra credit. But, yeah, I'm actually really happy, and I'm actually really surprised also. Um, how has your art life been kind of, like, affected by your student life? Are you in the Conservatory of the Fine Arts at Sunny Hills? Yeah, I'm part of the COFA. I'm also part of the COFA Council. I'm one of the designers there. Mm -hmm. um, also, I really like um, integrating both the student life and my art life after um, doing art for so many years. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And what advice do you have for people who are kind of hesitant to balance their creative passions and their academics? Um, I think you should really just go for it. Like, there's nothing really that you should really worry about because both of them are both different aspects of your life. So it shouldn't be too hard balancing them. Now I'm here with another artist, this time a blue ribbon winner. This is Oscar Morales. Oscar, you must be very proud. How are you feeling right now? I'm uh, feeling very ecstatic. It's really cool. <laughs> now I have to ask, what's this piece called and what was your inspiration behind it? It's called Thirst and it was a really hot day and um, I wanted to take a picture of my little sister and I guess I have her next to the AC and there she is like quenched or like feeling thirsty for the water bottle. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Now, um, you're with your mother here today. Now, um, has Oscar always been an artist? Yes. And how do you feel to see him winning an award today? I feel very proud of him. Buena Park with another person who's very proud to be in Buena Park, the principal of Buena Park High School. Mr. Coombs, how are you today? I'm very good. Thanks for letting me be here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, how has the art program grown and, you know, really been cultivated at your campus? Well, we've been really blessed the last five, six years because we've been able to take the art program from about 300 students to this year there's 1,158 students enrolled in the arts, uh, including the art shows you see here with two new art teachers, video production, uh, multiple graphic arts and um, the theater and the choir program. The art show has been incredible for us and our two teachers have been incredible, Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Arnchande. That's amazing. Now, in your opinion, why is showing off, you know, students' creative passions and really cultivating the arts so important? Uh, we, we believe at Buena Park High School that there's no way to unlock, or w there's not very many better ways to unlock people's passions and their heart and soul unless you give them a chance through the arts. Um, that's why half of our students are enrolled, because they have to unlock that passion and discover themselves. They may not go beyond high school and do that, but that passion will help them throughout life and discover themselves and take risks, and scary risks sometimes. <laughs> That's so true. Well, thank you so much for your time, and enjoy the show. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day.
Good evening. Um, my name is Patricia Mulligan, and I am a Buena Park Fine Arts Commissioner, and I'd like to welcome you to the 15th Annual High School Art Show Awards Ceremony. Before we uh, begin, um, we have a, a few special guests who'd just like to say a few words. First, we're going to have our Mayor, Fred Smith. Well, I'd basically like to welcome everybody here to our 15th Annual Art Show here in Buena Park for our high schools and on behalf of our city council and all of our principals and art teachers uh, thank you for being here and of course to all the parents and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time but when we do start giving out the awards please feel free to step forward to take pictures of the kids because it's once-in-a-lifetime thing you get to do so thank you all for being here our children are our future thank you An uh, another person who'd like to just say a few words is our Chair of the Fine Arts Commission, Kathleen Pitts. Oh, you guys, the artists, aren't they great? I don't need a mic. I don't need a mic. Use the mic so you're Oh, I'm, okay. okay. Watch me now. You guys are fabulous. You know, I have never seen such great artwork in my entire life, and I've gone to museums and everything. I can't wait till you guys get out of high school and, you know, do the thing that you do the best, put a price on it, because I'm ready to buy something in this room. <laughs> I'm telling you, good luck. I'm glad you're all here. Parents, good supporting. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Not easy, but that's okay. This is what we come to to make it joyous as parents. Everybody have a good time. After the awards were handed out, I was able to speak to a few of the high school artists about their submissions. Now a picture is worth a thousand words, but Destiny Kendall's is worth second place at the art show. Can you tell me a little bit more about your piece? Well, when I originally was thinking about shooting a picture for this category, I thought about my cousin because he's very photogenic, so I was like, why not take a picture of him? And he did this perfect pose for me, so that's how I got, came across it. That's really cool. Now, how long have you been involved in art? How long have you been doing it? Um, I've been doing this about since I was probably seven, so it's been a passion of mine. How do you feel you've grown as an artist, like from when you started until now? From when I started, it, it was probably like hard at the beginning because I would always put pressure on myself, but now I've seen I've grown better since I've started. So this is the first place winner in the watercolor division, Cameron Deeth. How are you feeling today? Uh, feeling pretty good. I've like 
This is my first show that I've won first place in. I remember like being in here um, when I was in elementary school and it's just cool to be here again. That's really awesome. So can you tell me a little bit about your piece? It's really cute. What inspired it? Um, my concentration for my um, class is the Chinese zodiac and this was one of the animals that I was focusing on and um, I thought that since red is a lucky um, color in uh, the Chinese like culture I wanted to have it eating a strawberry because I thought it would be cute and then I used um, like opposing colors on each side. Uh, now you mentioned you've been in the program and you've been entering shows like this since you were in elementary school. How does it feel to come full circle and now place and actually win at a high school level? Um, it feels really great because I feel like I've grown a lot as an artist and just as a person seeing like how long I've come and like how um, I've changed in my style and it's just really cool. Now here's another Blue Ribbon winner, Roland de Milanta from Buena Park High School who took first in photography. Could you tell me a little bit more about what inspired your piece? Well, I was trying to focus on a photo of a meaning that's not shown. So I took a photo, like this was from a liquor store and I just flipped it upside down and it created a whole new meaning. So, yeah. That's really interesting. Now, how long have you been doing photography? Uh, I started this year. Wow, that's really cool, and look at you, first place. So what advice do you have for other budding young artists who want to put themselves out there? Just don't give up. Like, if people put you down, who cares? Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, the high school art show is coming to a close, and I am here with one of the people who is in charge of it all, Shana Gutierrez, who is the Community Services Coordinator for Fine Arts. Uh, how was today's event? And in comparison to last year, how was it? I think it was another great success. We had 88 submissions from a variety of high schools, including Buena Park High School, Sunny Hills High School, Cypress and Kennedy High School, Cornelia, Cornelia Connolly High School, and Rosia Park High School. So it was huge. We got some new participants. I think it was another successful event. We had a great turnout. I'm very happy with it. And lastly, before I let you go, why is it so important for you that the city really cultivates and nurtures creative passions in young people? You know, teens are a special breed anywhere we go, and to showcase what they can do in their arts, to show them how we can build their self-esteem and congratulate them, I think it's a great thing that we do here in Buena Park. That's why we offer these great programs, to showcase them in front of their family and friends, our city council members, and the public here on TV. So we're going to keep on offering it to show them that we believe in them, we uh, believe in their successes, and we want to see them in the future become great artists that they already are. This year's high school art show was truly picture perfect. Until next time, I'm Justine Banal for Inside Buena Park. Goodbye. Before we go, there are a few fine arts activities we would like you to know about. The annual Children's Arts Festival and Junior High School Art Show will be held at the Buena Park Community Center on Saturday, April 23rd. Save the date as Jazz Under the Stars returns this spring to the Ehlers Event Center on April 30th. And summer concerts in the park will be returning to Boys Rank Park starting June 8th through July 13th. For more information, check hashtag BP Fine Arts, look for them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.